Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I removed my Moin stuck cartridge that was uh, very stuck hard inside. You know, I even used a tool to remove that cartridge and uh, in the process of removing it with that tool, the cartridge inside broke. And uh, you know, once it breaks, it's very hard. So I've seen multiple videos on uh, YouTube. Some people use the drilling technique. Some people use, uh, you know, different methods, you know, putting a screw in there. But something I want to share with you guys, which was not covered in any of these videos, are that there are different types of cartridges. Uh, there are a couple of ones that are really old style and they're made of full brass. And uh, some of these are made of plastic. So uh, it really depends on what type of uh, cartridge you have in there. So that's something you're going to have to figure out. I think you can tell once you're pulling out partially, you know, if you see the plastic outer casing, that tells you it's a plastic one. But if you see a, uh, a brass outer casing, that gives you an indication of what type of the one you have. So you can make your judgment call based on, uh, you know, the type of cartridges that you have, that what process you're going to be using to remove if the cartridge is stuck and you cannot remove it with using that particular tool. So in this video, I have a plastic cartridge and I did not have to do any kind of drilling method. I just used a simple tool initially to remove that cartridge and uh, when it broke, uh, basically I'll be showing you how it broke and what are the met methods I used to remove that entire cartridge. So uh, let's see what exactly happened. So here you can see I have installed the tool and uh, you know once I tied the back side you know I was uh, using the method that uh, the process that came with me and uh, you can see the cartridge is kind of like pulling out once you are unscrewing it so I'm, I was just using the same method um, that was described by the manufacturer how to remove that cartridge using this tool and uh, apologize for the camera shake it was kind of hard for me to film it while doing it with the one hand but as you can see the cartridge is breaking loose you know as I'm untightening this um, and it's coming out in most of the cases when the cartridge is out that much you know normally it comes out using this tool but this thing was not budging you know I kept moving it around you know twisting it back and forth and that's the preferred method you know you kind of break that seal or that um, all that gunk and grime and it's nothing it's just the calcium buildup over time uh, basically which uh, holds it in place so over here you can see I'm wiggling it back and forth back and forth and I tried and tried you know for it to come loose and uh, it would not budge it would just move a little bit and eventually it snapped so over here you got to be careful if you can try to do it but mine is snapped so let's see what I did okay guys so what happened was uh, when I pulled it out I'll show you guys This piece came off and it broke right here and all the rest of the piece was stuck inside. So here you can see what I've been doing with the needle nose I broke all the plastic all around it and there are two rubber pieces right here these right here I kind of pulled those off those are the ones that cause that restriction or hold that whole piece to not be able to come out. So then now I can I can see if I can move it or at least turn it around. There you go, see this is turning freely. So now what I'm gonna do is try to Pull this out with a needle nose. There you go, this thing came off. Thing left is the plastic piece. Oops, see how it's going in. It's going to take a screwdriver. 
cover. Let me make sure I see. This rubber piece is kind of stuck in inside, so let me make sure I get it out. So okay, I came out. There you go. So make sure there's no restriction holding this piece from coming out. Now I can take my needle nose plier. There you go. See how that small rubber piece was holding it? And uh, make sure there's no... So what happens is the rubber that's holding the water right from here and right from here, which is these two rubbers, they cause corrosion and they get stuck and they stop the entire cartridge from coming out. So this is the cartridge that I'm going to be putting on. You're locked, right? Yeah. Okay. This is the one that I'm using. And make sure there is a package in there with lubrication, so make sure you lube both sides. So this is the lube that came with it. And I'm going to go ahead and lube these two sides. Just make sure lube it pretty good, even on that ring. And just uh, it's just a matter of putting it back in. Okay, I added lubrication pretty good on both sides, and even on that O-ring. Just rub it on the plastic, whatever you have left over in your hand. Doesn't hurt. And now we're gonna go ahead and put it in. Okay, so make sure the notch is facing upwards. And uh, that shows right here. And uh, make sure you clean it from inside pretty good. I haven't cleaned it, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean mine. You can take a spray or water or something and then just clean it up pretty good so there is no debris or anything left inside. Okay, so what I did was put a towel right in front of it and uh, I told somebody to turn the water on real quick and turn it off just so it has enough flow so in case if there is any debris, anything left inside will come out. And guess what? That o-ring came out. <laughs> so I'm kind of glad I did the clean up, you know, so it kind of cleaned up inside. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take that lubrication, whatever is left, and put it inside. So. It'll just help in the future. Since I have plenty left over. There we go. So we'll put it inside. And once you're done with the installation, just run the water for like a little bit, so in case if there's any lubrication in the pipe, it'll come out. Now, let's go ahead and put this on and let's make sure it's the right way. It's in this way, the notch is up front. And I'm going to have to use two hands to put it in. So what I did was I just took this tool, put it on the front and kind of push it in. It's nice. In all the way. Now remember to the clip that you took out, make sure you put that back in. So guys, that's pretty much it. You know, I put the clip back in and push it in using a needle nose to make sure it's all the way in. And uh, that was the end of it. So I'm not going to show you guys how to put everything back together. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that. But my main focus was to share how I removed my plastic cartridge and uh, how I installed the new one. So hopefully it helps you guys. Guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like it, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.